what other questions should you ask admissions counselors? So this is a tough one because I feel like in the, the same way that you said that admissions counselors are numbers driven, a lot of admissions counselors are going to always talk about the best things about their school, but they may not mention the worst things about their school. So, um, so I think that while you should ask a lot of questions to admissions officers like, what extracurricular activities does your school offer? What are the main specialty areas that you know they have unique programs in? There might be some really amazing clinic, like a immigration clinic that does work with like detainees or something that you are dying to do, and that might only exist at one law school. So, like, ask them those questions. Um, but um, as far as you know, like, other things that I think you should be doing is message the students on LinkedIn. I would guarantee you now law students all have a LinkedIn as well. So like reach out to students at your current prospective law schools, you know, the schools that you think you want to go to and ask them like, hey, now that you're there, do you still want to go there? Because I'll tell you some of them will say no. <laughs> um, so I think that you reach out to people and ask them like, hey, what do you like about the school? Do you think the school actually does try to help you get a job. I mean, at the end of the day, that's what this is all about, guys, like getting a job. So if your school, there are some schools out there, I won't name any, but if you rank in the bottom half of your class, they will abandon you. They will not help you get a job. It's like, good luck, buddy. See ya. <laughs> and, you could also, and you could also lose the conditional scholarships based oh, yeah. on ranking oh, yeah. in a certain part of the class, like top yeah. third. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, I mean, they might bend over backwards for the top 25% of the class in trying to get them jobs because they know they can place them. But the rest of them, they might not have time to get to them. So, you know, I mean, ask those people if you think there's a good chance that you may be one of the middle of the road folks, you know, I mean, listen, law school is competitive, right? So there's a lot of people in the room that have always been the smartest person in the room, and now they're all together. So, <laughs> you know, so I, I think a lot of people don't realize, like, hey, if you apply to a school where, you know, your LSAT score and your GPA are such that you would be lucky to get in, and once you get in, now you're competing against all the people that have the better GPAs than LSAT. So, like, you have to think about how are you going to get that job afterwards. So, you know, talk to the people who are at the law school and talk to people who are have graduated from that law school and ask them, like, what were your prospects for getting a job? How did you find your first job? How did you find, you know, jobs in the summer? Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.